Hello, fifth grade. Well, we're going to continue with our rebus. Now, I've been asked by one of my fifth graders, Mr. Ruiz, what are we supposed to do after we're done with the rebus and the uh, hybrid? So guys, we've moved, most of you, uh, about 90% of you are ready to move on to the uh, rebus. Uh, by that, I mean that most of you have finished your hybrid, but some of you haven't worked on your rebus. Now, the rebus will serve as a practice for what I call poem and illustration. I talked about this a couple of weeks ago. You will write a poem and you will then illustrate it. But let's take one step at a time. But I will address it, Diana. Diana Torres Oliver, she's very industrious, very hardworking. And she insisted that I, well, she wanted to know, well, Mr. Ruiz, what do, what do I do after I'm done with the hybrid and the rebus? Well, the project culminates into something that I call, well, the rebus, the rebus, I should say, Diana. The rebus is something completely different from the hybrid. And the, re the rebus, excuse me, the rebus is the beginning of the poem and illustration, okay? So let's go back to the rebus and we'll take it from there, okay? Sorry, guys. All right. So I suggested this. Last week we went, and this was a, a, a Ulysses' idea. Uh, Ulysses gave me this idea. This was Ulysses' idea. And Ulysses gave me a Taco Bell. Ulysses in the future, please give me more than one rebus. Um, I don't think it takes a lot of effort or work to produce one rebus, but I may be wrong. I mean, you may have given it quite some thought, but in the future, I want a minimum of three rebuses, okay? I think that's more than fair. So what do I mean and how are we gonna go about this? Well, last week, as I said, it was just um, this uh, fast food theme. Um, like I said, it was Ulysses that gave me Taco Bell or suggested Taco Bell. We went with Burger King and then I said, well, White Castle. Now, I did mention this. So, your rebus will culminate in a poem or poems. So, this was a statement, of course. So, I can not and see. I cannot see. So, the poem will, the first poem you will take on and, but I'm going to stop there. Because I I believe that at the end of the day, I'm only confusing you guys. Some of you are forwarding through the footage and then you say, oh, that's what I'm, supp I'm supposed to do. Or you completely miss something. For example, a suggestion or how this unit culminates or the outcome of this, I should say. So we're just going to stop right here. And Diana, be patient. Okay, that's all I can say. But if you think you're ready, then so be it. The last thing you turned in, which was wonderful, mind you, was your um, cerebus, uh, your cerebus um, dragon and your uh, rebuses connected to that. The, it lives in a cave, um, in a rock cave, I'm sorry, and it lives in a rainforest. But now you have to produce some rebuses before you get to this poem. So, which leads me to this. What rebuses will you work on? Well... Naomi emailed me and she said, Mr. Ruiz, can you help me with the rebus? I said, of course. So I suggested this. So I suggested that she start on compound words. And uh, so I'm sorry, kids. So a compound word, of course, is two words put together. So I believe I suggested, was it flower bed? I believe I also suggested uh, cheesecake. And I believe I suggested bookmark. So this is where you're at, guys. So what do I mean by that? Well, how would I go about illustrating flower bed or creating a visual code slash rebus for flower bed? Well, I would just go and produce something that looks, oh, something the likes of a flower or more to the point, a flower having uh, uh, quite a few petals on it, as you can see, maybe a wild sunflower, something of that nature. So flower plus, and just quickly draw this rectangular prism guys which will ideally serve as the bed so I'm just gonna draw okay so I put the right there so there we go guys so flower plus bed equals flower bed okay the cheesecake shouldn't be terribly difficult I like to draw the uh, a slice or maybe even 
uh, part of the wheel of a cheesecake. So what do I mean by the wheel of a cheesecake? So I'm pretty sure you've seen these guys in, um, in cartoons and such. I'm pretty sure. So they're very popular. So with the uh, wheel of cheese or something this large. So again, just want to create this wheel of cheese or this block of cheese. So we have cheese, or you could just very simply um, produce one of the slices. Maybe even that slice or something similar to it, really. Okay. And this is something the likes of Swiss cheese, where it ends up with these um, gas or air cavities. So we have cheese plus. And don't forget, kids, this um, this can get a little tricky, but you're going to be fine because you by now understand um, how to draw or you you become a great artist, in my opinion, in my eyes. So you never forget, um, drawings are made up of lines and shapes. And the more you practice with uh, the use of lines and shapes, the better you become. So we have cheesecake. Now, bookmark may be a little more difficult, but um, no worries. So first of all, I'm going to establish the spine or the the back of the book okay so once i have that okay guys have a better understanding and then you can draw multiple pages okay okay and if you want you can add maybe a title to this book so that everyone, so as soon as anybody looks at this, they, they understand it to be a book. Say, wait a minute, I know what that is. That's a book. And that might even be, oh, I don't know. How about something like... So to kill a mockingbird. Or right here, a rectangular prism just like we did for our bed. Okay. Publisher's logo and such. So there's our book. Now, Mark may give you a little bit, uh, may give you some difficulty, but you have to understand what a mark is. So what's a mark? A mark is basically a stain or something that is more to the point not specific or particular. So usually when I hear the word mark, I think of an individual, a guy named Mark, or more to the point, some kind of mark that maybe a paint splatter or something like that, something of that nature has left a mark. And what came to mind was maybe a mark that a chisel uh, expo marker, chisel tipped expo marker would make, something of that nature. Okay, so book plus the stain or the mark equals bookmark. Now, here's where you're, excuse me, kids. So now here's where you're at, guys. So what are you gonna do, Mr. Rose? What do you want us to do? Specifically, right now, I don't want you to go, I don't want you to move forward on the uh, poem or sentence, okay? For example, here with the I cannot see. And uh, so I want you to practice with the rebuses. Now, uh, there's a reason why I begin this project with the rebus. It serves as practice. So what you're gonna do is I already took on bookmark, flower bed, and cheesecake. Naomi and I we took these on. So let's do a couple. Let's do so homework. Let's see if you can create a rebus for cannot. These are gonna be super simple for guys so smart and talented. You guys can do this. There's nothing you guys can't do. And we're gonna go with five. Okay, guys? Well, actually, we'll stop at four. because This might be a little challenging. And if I'm not there to make suggestions, you know what? We're gonna go with five. You guys are super awesome. And come on, guys. You know what you can do for these, okay? And as I said, five. And we're gonna leave it at that. So here are the, excuse me, guys. Here are the five rebuses I would like you to work on. Cannot, moonlight, sunlight, football, basketball. Okay, let's do it. Be safe.